All right, hold on. I think I got all y'all in. Yay. Yay. All right, fellers. Week nine of the Willie Bear Show with Willie Bear. I'm Willie Bear. I'm Willie Bear's dad. Willie Bear's mom. Oh my gosh. This is a terrible idea. Anyway, <laughs> um, we are now through nine weeks. Wow, that was uncalled for. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. This is this is about fantasy football. Okay. None of that. I'll focus. Stupid crap. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, we have a lot of games to get through. Um, and first off, um, we're going to do it with, with the one A-Bear who's not here right now, uh, sleeping just like the rest of his fantasy team. Oh! Yeah, I know. Uh, we got number four, Harrison Butker's Kitchen, and they're take, they took on this past week, number five, Susan's Smart Team. Um, but Mason actually, uh, uh, he got the victory this week. He won 120 to a 106. Uh, and he had big performances from Devon A-Chain and Jaden Daniels. Um, and yeah, he's he's six and four all time against Nene. Uh, just a big week for Mason. As for Nene, she had 22 from Josh Allen and 19 from Tank Dell. Um, and even though she got over 100 points, she was the lowest score of the week. Um, so we may see her again come awards time. But great win, Mason, over Nini. Um, I can take game two, but, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, don't Go worry. Go for it. Yeah. Take, don't, take worry, game two. don't worry about pulling your weight at all. Um, here to spectate. We had <laughs> number one, Master of Cuppets, of course, oh, number no, one. No, of course, number one. Uh, taking on number three, uh, Will Berry and the Strongest of Wills. And many said this would be a close game. And many of you would be wrong because uh, it was 166 to 112. Um, Barry got thwarted. Um, so tough loss there. Felt, um, felt like a replay of Ole Miss. Oof. oof. I mean, yeah. I mean, fair enough. It did. It did. Um, but unlike Carson Beck, Jalen Hurts had 30 fantasy points. <laughs> there you go. Alvin Kamara also had 30. And then also I had 20 points from Cooper Cup and the Chargers defense. So a big week for me. Um... As for Barry, Ramondre Stevenson had 22, and, and but his quarterback, Jordan Love, struggled, only had 10 points. Um, yeah. I swept Barry this year. I'm 3-2 and two against him all time. Wow. Um, and Barry, despite having a very strong start, you are on a three-game losing streak. Wow. So you need to pick wow. that we, up. There might have to be a change in names to not the best of will. <laughs> I don't know. You can't get swept. You cannot get swept, my friend. I'm going to have to say, yeah, that's, right. a, that's a tough one. Do, Do you, you want to take, take I don't mind taking take the game number one. three. Because it is mine. And I've had a lot of losing games this year, but mm -hmm. this was not one of them. And I think, I think my team is back. All right. Um, so this was me. I was number eight. Swift kick was. That's foretelling Unreal. what's the word what's the literary device she gets a couple wins under her belt <laughs> and then i was playing porters the sigmas who were in sixth place um i was victorious 173 to 115 173 is a very high score that's a hint for the award section that's mm -hmm. coming in a little while mm -hmm. i had six people on my fantasy team that had 20 plus points saquon barkley got me 33 which was awesome and Porter had a couple people that did well. Um, Lamar, 24, D. Smith, 19. But his other ones kind of let him down and just, and, and mine kind of picked me up. So mm -hmm. that's Porter's second straight loss, and he's lost five of the last six. So mm -hmm. Porter well, there you go. might want to make some changes. And I am on a two win streak, which was needed because I have been in the toilet bowl. Well, how about that? I mean, what a turnaround. But, but listening to mom say that she's back is like listening to the University of Miami talking about how they're back. <laughs> Turns out they aren't even the best team in Florida. Georgia Tech is the best team in Florida. <laughs> That's wow. Crazy. That's awful. A lot of shade there for your Miami fans. Yeah. So, uh, but are we moving on to game four? Yes. Okay. So in game four, we had a team, a juggernaut, just rolling through the schedule. Oh my gosh. And, this guy. and so we get to the four o'clock game, and I'm carrying like a 200 point lead. And as long as <laughs> Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow and Najigba Smith, it wasn't actually Jamar Chase, but it was yeah. Burrow and Smith and Najigba, yeah. as long as they don't score a million points, it's a lock. Well, they scored 1.2 million points. <laughs> and so, yeah, so Smith and Jigman went for 37. That was absolutely uncalled for. Burrow for 29. 
and my healthy lead as we were pushing into the seven o'clock hour, I ended up losing by three uh, on the day, 131 to 128. To the and, and even yeah. worse, as long as we're talking about getting the brooms out, I got swept right on out of the league again by Didi this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so not only did he sweep me, he's six and three all time against me. Um, you know, just feeling like a, frankly, an Auburn team right now. Like it's just, it's <laughs> just rough. rough. That's it's a rough, just rough. I mean, rough break um, right there. That does it for the games this week. Let's go on to the awards section. Mm -hmm. um, and, Mom, do you want to give us the oh, Golden Chainsaw? Oh, no, you chainsaw? should give that one. You should give the Golden Chainsaw. All right, the Golden Chainsaw this week, despite going, it would have gone to me for having the highest score of the year, but then game number three happened, and Swift Kick had the highest score of the year. So we had the one and two highest scores of the entire year. But Mom got the, gets the Golden Chainsaw, best score of the year. Um, and this, honestly, this pushes her back into the playoff um, talk. Like, the two-game win streak is it's pretty daunting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, who wants the Vacuum Award? I'll do Vacuum. Vacuum Award, sorry, Nene, but it goes to you this week. Lowest score of the week with your 106. And you lost to the lowest scoring winner also, which was Mason. So. It's a tough one. It's a tough, a tough one. That's a tough one. All right. Insightful Foresight? Insightful Foresight it has to go to Dee Dee for having Najigba, Smith, Najigba. I don't even know which way to put his names. I just know that he puts up 2 million points every time he plays me. So it was really uncalled for. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, felt like I was watching uh, like Texas on Saturday run over some other team, but it was it was it was a rough showing. <laughs> the Cond Award goes to the big guy. Um, he was the, our highest scoring loser. Had almost 130 points. Brutal. Um, however, this could have been solved if Mahomes had not been on the bench. So I mean, take that as you will. Um, yeah. On to the AP poll. Um, still at number one, um, oh, for however many weeks in a row this is. Recount. Uh, uh no, uh, I can recount again. The only seven and two team is mm. Will, um, me, the great, the great one, as I've referred never, to myself I was the say, mirror. never. <laughs> um, number two is the big guy, our only six and three team, um, sticking around at number two. Anybody? Uh, number three is is Mason's team. He's five and four. He was in fourth place, so he's up one. Mm -hmm. And he swapped with Barry, who was in um, third place, and now he's in fourth. And with his four and five team, he's the highest points four and five team. Mm -hmm. Nanny held her place at four and five. She was last week at number five. Remains at number five. Dee Dee moves from number seven up to number six with his four and five mark. Mm -hmm. With a incredible Sunday afternoon comeback that I'm still ailing over, and um, yeah, number. I feel like we need music for this one, but I don't know. I don't have any queued up, but okay. I'm no longer in last place so where number, I have been. Number seven is Swift Kick by some miracle, I, mm -hmm. I reckon. Um, yeah, but three and six and definitely back into the fold. And for the first time, number eight goes to Porter this year, who um, has been on a. Uh, absolutely epic downfall um, mm -hmm. since the middle of this um, year. Okay, so next week or today, this uh, um, for Porter Ward. Do you know what PW stands for? Not paying attention to your fantasy lineup. That's what PW stands that for. Even that work. <laughs> it works completely. <laughs> I don't even understand what y'all are talking about. That was uh, brutal, right oh, there. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty devastating, right there, Porter. Uh, yeah. Um, next week, we've got number five, Nini, taking on number eight, Porter. And despite Porter absolutely... Porter, you're going to have to get some redemption here. And Nini, don't let him off the mat. you just got to keep a man down while he's down. Put your thumb on him. Yeah. Speaking of putting him while they're down, Porter won their last matchup by 50 points earlier this year. So, Porter, we need to, we need to get some revival going wow. right here. Wow. Um, also, we have number six, Dee Dee, playing number three, Mason, this week. Mm -hmm. Last time they played, Mason won by two points. It was a very close one. I can't read that one. Yeah, I got that Mason, one. be careful. He may have Smith Najigba playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, no Josh Jacobs, no Smith Najigba, and no DK Metcalf. They're the Seahawks are on uh -oh. by this week. So, it's going to be like Tennessee be rolling into Georgia without 
Yeah, you know, model, 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 model <laughs> coming oh in. Gosh. So yeah, so yeah, there's that. And then also this week, um, number four, Barry, you get number seven, Mom. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Yep. She won her last one by five. Mm -hmm. Strongest um, of wills. You're gonna have to show out. But speaking of which, Christian McCaffrey's back this week. So what? He'll get injured in the first minute. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Barry, you, may, all, you might have, may want to pick up Mason. I, d I dumped him recently. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, when, so when McCaffrey goes out, you've got a backup plan. Yeah. Finally, uh, number one, me, takes on number two, Love big guy. Um, yeah. The big, I mean, you won the last one. So, so it's, the best part of this whole thing is I'll be in first place by the end of the day. Ooh. Because I will have a tied record and a sweep. Again, let's just get out the broom. He's... We're just getting out the brooms for all the sweeps in the area. Yeah. Just making this house clean. I That's mean, all we're doing. Whatever. I mean, I got Brock Bowers on by, but uh, Cooper Cup is playing, so I do not plan on losing this week. Mm -hmm. um, if only he was gritty. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. Um, I think that's it. Y'all have anything to add? I got nothing. Thank All right. You. Thanks for letting us participate again. This is fun. I know mm -hmm. the last time we were kind of like off the grid and off the what we were supposed she to say. She might have been. I was on point. He was, I don't even he was the one that. that was off script. But anyway, thanks for letting us join you again. Awesome. Well, it's been good. Um, okay. If that's it. Check your fantasy lineups. Yes, before one, or which don't. is very soon. Actually, before like right now, because there is a game in Germany happening of course there is because yeah. why yeah why wouldn't there but be? i think there are a bunch of trash teams like it might be barry porter mom will i don't know <gasps> Dee Dee's vices oh, a bunch of trash teams rude. that are playing at the nine o'clock so game rude. oh my gosh Sorry. all right so yeah we're done um bye, bye all <laughs>